This is the Nerf Rival Mercury. This is the Edge series. We're going to unbox this thing. We're going to get into it. Stay tuned. This is the rival Mercury. So, it's a pretty decent little blaster. This is the only one in this series I have. So, it's part of the Edge series. And that's what the green, these are the Edge. They're the same as any other one, other than precision ones, which are different. I don't know what the difference is. Anyway, you get five of them, as I showed in the video of unboxing. And then... You get this. Now, I already have one of these. This is our second one. And I didn't buy it. I got it thrifted. I didn't buy it because of this. I bought it for this. I love this target. I got one down on the range right now. And I shoot it all the time. I really, really enjoy it. This thing will take anything. This takes pro speed darts all day long. No big deal. So, I wanted another one of them. So, now we got two. I got this for $14.99. I have no idea what they charge for this on the shelf. None. No idea. But like I said, I got $14.99, and that was worth it all day long for the target alone. Like I said, we got two of these. They're okay. You know, I mean, it's a standard performance, and it's got a big bolt on it. The thing I really like about it, it's really super cool. In the video unboxing, I, I put the actual bolt in on this side, but I'm right-handed, so... That way it makes sense for it to be over here. That way I can... And that's the way we set our other one up. So I actually switched this around before I started recording after that. But anyway, you know, it's it's unique. And in the way it's made, it does have the one rail up here. I have nothing rival attachments, so I can't test that or tell you anything about it. Got an ambidextrous safety. So, I mean, all this stuff's got safety on it. The trigger's pretty sweet. Now the bolt, the pull's pretty, pretty stout. But the way you load this one is you load them in here. So it holds five. And as you can see, it's got like an internal magazine goes down in there. I don't know if it's supposed to be like looking like the planet's rings or something. I don't know why if that's why they call it this. All the blasters in this series are planet names or whatever. Why ever? I have no idea. But... So, I have not had any jams with this at all. Uh, it's works fine. It hits pretty good. It's really, honestly, pretty darn accurate. Really accurate. I mean, I know Rival is accurate anyway, but, I mean, this dude is right at home, man. It does have a cool feature. Now, I don't have a lot of, mainly my Rival stuff is full auto. Or it is single shot with a magazine. So, I don't know if this is a new thing for this series or maybe some had it. But this is actually your, your slide unlock. So, I don't know if that's new or not. But anyway, it's on there for Rival. Don't know. I, like I said, I don't know if that's, that's a new thing. But like I said, I've... Mainly, I have Apollos, most of the pistols. We do have a pump, uh, 
curve shot. I don't know if it does or not. It may have one. No, I don't know. Maybe that's not anything. Anyway, that's where it's located. If you have any jam. I have not had any jams with this. Uh, I think we had a misfeed of two at a time. Something happened. I don't know if we didn't get primed all the way. And it spit a couple of them out. That's no big deal. Whatever. But honestly, I've never had a, a rival jam ever. I've had a double shoot or not shoot, but I've never had it actually jam up. It'd be pretty tough. I'm sure you can do it, though. But anyway, it's got nice... The sights are pretty sweet on it. You got the indicator in the back right there, as you can see. Shows we are primed, ready to, roll, ready to rock and roll. So, not much else to it, really. I mean, it's... It's a nice, it's a nice blaster. I mean, it's kind of big for a pistol, but I mean, most rival stuff is gigantic anyway. I mean, so it, for a, a five shot in in box magazine, I guess you would say, because that's kind of what it is. I mean, it's pretty good. But like I said, the target, I love the target, man, it's awesome. And like I said, that's the only reason I bought another one. It's the only reason I considered getting this one again. Uh, last time I went, I bought the one, and I thought, well, we'll try it. Because, like I said, I thrifted this at Molly's, and I thrifted the other one I got. Well, like I said, when I went back and I seen they had another one of them, I'm like, yep, I'm going to get it. Got to have that target. So, the target, like I said, when we do the range view, you're going to see it. I'll have them both down there, and I'm just going to sh we'll just shoot them, and then you can see the target in action. It works awesome, man. I, I just really, 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 really like it. I, I highly recommend that. If you just if you're looking for different target solutions, I mean, we got all kind of different stuff to different targets and things. But man, it's just up and above this this series. The targets, I love them. They're great. Now, like I said, this is the only one I got. I don't have any of the other ones. Just guess I'm going to try to find them because I think they got different types of targets in there, maybe, or maybe they're all like I'm not really sure. So we're going to get on the range. We're going to shoot the included uh, rival rounds with it. I'll put some yellows in. I'll put some. I'll put some precisions in, and then we'll just we'll shoot. Like I said, I'll, it, it'll hit. It hits everything, and uh, let you see how it how it rock and rolls. And I'll uh, tell you what I think of it after that. Welcome. We are here with the Nerf Rival Mercury. We're going to test accu the accurate rounds, the regular rounds, and then these, the neon ones. I don't really know what the difference is. But we'll go ahead and load up some of these accurate rounds. And this is how you do it. Find the bolt back and you just shove them down in there just like that. Nothing to it. Push them down in there. Hold five. And then when you're ready to go, you just... Be careful, don't hit the trigger like that. Here's the regular yellow ones. Got a really touchy trigger. There we go. And then here are the uh, included, I don't know, whatever they call them right I mean, it's just the same, it's pretty much the same thing as the regular yellow ones. Thank you. And there it is. Concludes the range. We'll finish up the conclusion. All right. So the the rival Mercury. It's a great blaster. Like I said it's you know you seen it in performance. Works pretty good. It's fairly accurate. Now I will say this. I was kind of surprised by the speed. This thing's pretty fast. With the regular yellows, it seemed like they were just a little bit slower. But the slowest speed we got was ninety six. And we was getting up to 100. I got 100, like, out of everything but the yellows. I don't know what the difference is. The ones that came with it, that this color of, of rival ball, it got up 
it stayed right around high 90s, like 97, 8, 98. It did hit 100 once. Now, the, the blue precisions, they were getting 100 pretty consistently. So, honestly, that's pretty good because most of my rivals don't, most of the stuff I got rival don't, don't touch 100. It's really close, but it doesn't quite ever hit it. It's usually around 94, 95, something like that, 88, 89, and that area right there is where most of the rival stuff that I have hits. But this one's, like I said, pretty hot. So, I mean, and, and the accuracy is really, really good. I mean, with the sight picture that it has, pretty decent. You aim at the distance I'm at between 22, 25 feet, you're pretty much going to hit it. I mean, it doesn't, they don't, they, they're pretty straight. Um, it doesn't really seem to matter which ones are in it. I've noticed that the the Accurounds seem to fly a little bit better, a little bit more straight. Every once in a while, you'll get a slight curve. You'll see very slight. And I don't know if that's just because the rounds are better or it likes them better. I don't know. If, well, I don't know if the really the rounds really make a difference. I, I don't know. But as you've seen with the targets on the rings. That was the biggest thing, man. I really like those targets. Like I said, the, the one the one that was on the left, I, that's my first one. And I have shot it with every pro that I have repeatedly over and over. It has took 200 foot a second darts at 15 feet. Just been shot that close. And I mean, it, it rings it really hard, but it hadn't broke them. It just jammed them in through that little hole. Like, there's a little gap, and it'll get stuck. But, it's no big deal. It just takes them. <laughs> now, I mean, on regular dark, slow dark, everything else, it's, it's just amazing. I really like those targets. That was a great idea. I mean, this was a great idea. This series, I don't know how well it did. I don't know how many people bought them. Or, maybe you're just like me, and you're just kind of like, hmm, it's, it's just rival glass. Whoa, there's a target in there. That's what that's what really got me, you know. I mean, I I will thrift, I thrift most of my rival. I've bought a pilot, a few fates, new, pretty much everything else I've thrifted, or I bought it at a discount. I've never bought anything I don't think new. Maybe the pilot, but for the most part, I most of my rival has just been through thrift stores or. You know, paying three, four dollars for it. It's like Apollos. I got a pile of Apollos. If they've got a mag, I won't pass them up. You know, because like around here, we get them for two dollars, three bucks. That's it. I wouldn't pay more for an Apollo than that. But you know, so I mean, these and performance-wise, maybe some of the newer ones were getting more powerful that are like this. You know what I mean? Or maybe this series was just faster. I don't know. But this is pretty quick. So I was impressed with the speed. The speed was really good and the accuracy is really good. It's just really, really big for... I still consider it a pistol. I mean, you know, it is a pistol, but it's just really, really big. This is a pilot. For comparison's sake and size. You know, of course, one shot. Five shots. So... I don't know. I mean, I, I guess I guess it would work okay. I mean, it's a little bit big. I mean, I'm sure you could come up with something. It does have the little hole right there that most of the rival stuff has. So I guess that you could put something there. I guess you could carry it along. But I'd say if you carried it like that, you don't want to carry it over here if you put your boat like I do. Which, like I said, you can move this boat. You know, you can just pull this boat out and you can move it over to the other side. If that's what you want, you can put it over here. You know, so that's that's completely up to you. I mean, I shoot, I can shoot either way. I can shoot ambidextrous, whether it's blasters or real gun, it doesn't really matter to me. But I prefer to be right-handed, and then if I can run the bolt like this, that's what I want to do. That's just up to you. It's your personal preference. Like I said, it's super simple to move it around. You just put it where you want. But anyway, I recommend this blaster if you come across it. Like I said, I paid fourteen ninety-nine for it. I wanted it for the target. The target's awesome. If you don't care about the target, then maybe this blaster you won't really care about. If you don't like magazines and you want something that's internal like this thing, then it's great. I've had no issues, no no nothing. It just it just works. So I 
I hope this helps you out if you see it on a thrift shelf because I mean the holidays are coming up soon and these things are going to start showing up. All the stuff that didn't sell in the stores is going to start piling up in your discount stores. So if you see this series or you see this, hopefully this will help you out if you want to get it or not. I think there's like a shotgun, like a pump style shotgun deal. And then there's actually like the, I think the Saturn is the sniper. I really want that, but those are really hard to find. And I doubt that you're going to find those in... Uh, now, thrift because they're expensive. Anytime you look anywhere online, people want $70, $80 or more for them. I don't know. If I see them in thrift, I'm going to buy a bunch of them. <laughs> or on, on discount. But anyway, that's the one I really wanted. And then this came along and it was just there in a Target. And, you know, that's how it all worked out. But anyway, I hope this helps you out. And thanks for watching.